we have a uh, singer songwriter and actor and multi grammy award winner uh my friend that i've known for close to three decades uh mr eric bonnet right here on positive progression who's chilling out in his ride okay on the west side <laughs> mr milwaukee himself is on the west side <laughs> what's up chris what's up what's good what's good eric um so much to talk about and of course always so little time you know when you first came on the show uh back in 97 and i got the footage i could show you that right now you would roll wow. you got uh, after this interview man you better send me that footage yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Eric, eric has to see himself you know little corn rolls and he was right. he was hosting the show actually big shouts out to our warner brothers friend back in the day may he rest in peace uh mr troubadour crumb uh oh, Trump. Trump. Uh, so, yeah. Wow, Trump! He used to write. He used to have that big old. We used to do all those radio promo trips in that big old Cadillac he had. In that big old Cadillac. I wanted to take Eric back to let him know where we come from. And then wow. my good friend over in the video department, um, who we still talk every now and then today, Mr. Steve Stevenson. Uh, Steve, Steve Stevenson, man. <laughs> So this was like one of those one of those you. shows. Remember that show from the from the sixties called "This Is Your Life." Yes, that's, that's, that's what it sounds like. This is you bringing up these names like soldiers. I was I was in the field with back in the day. Yes, sir. <laughs> we used to hit those grounds running. Troop used to say, "Chris, I got her with me. We're gonna do this." Chris, yep. such and such, such. I'm like, "Oh my god!" I said, "Troop." We all over the place, and Troop had this huge caddy boy. He was <laughs> man, oh man, a Troop caddy. Oh, yes. I love it. Yes. And then all our other Warner Brothers friends through the years, Vern, and of course uh, my boy uh, AJ uh, Savage. Savage, uh, AJ Savage. That's my yeah. guy. I, I saw AJ a little while ago, man. Yeah, yeah. I just spoke to AJ. AJ is in Charlotte. Um, I'm yeah. here in Rock. Yep, yep. So, so that's my buddy. We talk weekly, Eric. Um, that's so, my guy. That's my guy. Yep, yep. Still. Of course, you're Ken Wilson's and your Brian Sampson. It's just so many in the industry, man. Hey, uh, hey, I, I, I told you I was gonna bring it out on. So, 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 you know, Ken Wilson, which you already know, Ken Wilson and Brian Sampson, they had him out, had him, had him out radio promotion team. Yes, yes. Those guys are the greatest uh, two key executives over the years uh, with the labels and true close legends and friends. Um, and I'm one of the very few music video programmers out there left. There's my close friend, uh, Mr. Ralph McDaniels in New York, who started Video Music Box. So when Ralph started it, I came to the Carolinas, Eric, behind him. And I'm a New York kid. So it's about maybe five to ten of us left in the country. Man, God bless you. God God, thank bless you so much. You. Besides your nationals, your Stephen Hills that's been it was at BETs, all that yeah. all of us on the visual marketing side, we all are yeah. close knit. So um and, and Eric has been definitely at the a, a pinnacle with us through the years. Uh Nay, so we appreciate man the uh continued support to us as you know we obviously do all we can to maximize awareness of all this great music um that eric has put out so people got to understand you know it was a day in a life in 1999 you know um and then we had well actually it was true to myself in 96. First, and that's then, right that was first that was first we got to make sure people know that and then in 99 a day in the life that generated uh uh the single with you and tamia spin my life um new tamia quest records right so we can go to that side that was part of Warner Brothers family, <laughs> right? right. Old Quincy Q Jones. That's right. Yep. Q was doing his thing. So we was rolling through all of that. And uh, so, so, and then, you know, I know you joined forces uh, with um, Dave Foster. Yes, I uh, did. Very well known. Hurricane. Hurricane album back in 05. Right. So we right. followed you through that. And then Eric did his thing, of course. Um, and a few TV series, you know, on All Black uh, with New York Undercover and For Your Love and Real Husbands of Hollywood. So so Eric got that acting bug in him. You know, he think nobody don't know. All right. <laughs> so we just want to let him know 
Okay. And then we started, um, you um, um, worked along with uh, Ball, okay, um, who's another key executive. Al New label now, JBR Creative Group. So talk to us briefly about that. You know, Allison and I, uh, man, thank you for that, man. You really taking me down memory lane. Um, yes, <laughs> so so Al Allison and I, it's like 30 years strong of like a brother sister relationship, man. It's like because Allison actually gave me my first record deal even before Warner Brothers. Now, before that first solo Eric Benet album, True to Myself, which you mentioned, I had a little record deal. It was a brother sister duo, my sister and my, myself. Oh, we nice. were called Benet. Yeah, we were called Benet. Not a whole lot of people know about it because it didn't really make much noise. It was like, it was basically my crash course to the music industry and how how fragile it is and how you might think, oh, I made it. Yay. Now I can be rich and successful. And then you feel that rug get pulled from under you quick. But um, Allison, Allison gave my sister and I our first deal at EMI. I'm going to go even further back. 1992. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, so after that deal didn't work, you know, I went back home, licked my wounds, went back home to Milwaukee, had to get a job, you know, at UPS. And I was an assistant engineer. And while I was in the studio working at this this uh, little small little studio in Milwaukee, I said, yo, when the, when ain't nobody in the studio, can I work on some demos? And uh, my cousin George and I, we started uh, making demos in this studio. Now. By this time, Allison was now an executive at Warner Brothers. Oh, wow. And I was like, I was like, Alice, why don't you check out all these little demos I did in the studio in Milwaukee? And basically those demos, Allison heard those demos and she was like, boy, you need to come to Warner Brothers right now. And that was my dad. That was my uh, true to myself. Right. That all those demos were my first first album on Warner Brothers. Uh, true to myself. And so Allison and I have been just like the closest of friends. Like, you know, you know how it is when you got like a friend, a real friend in life. When you're when they're down, you're lifting them up. When you're right. down, they're right there. Like, get your ass up and just stop. Right. You, know, you know, keep walk, keep moving forward. So we, we've been that for each other like for 30 years now. So when I got when I had this opportunity. I have a very, I call him an angel. <laughs> I have a very wealthy friend who is, uh, who always wanted to start a label. And he came to me and he was like, what if we do, what if we make it more about the equity between the artist and the executives? And, you know, let's not just exploit the artist, but let's lift them up and, you know, yeah, make great music. But, and I was like, man, you speak in my language. And, and I immediately was like, you know who I want to bring in to help uh, to be the CEO of this thing, my girl Allison, because she has wealth of wisdom. Every decision she makes, she makes it with honor, and she's always thinking about the artist first. And so, that's really how JBR came to be. Wow, wow, yeah, and that's important, you know, Eric. Itself, you know, you've got uh, more of uh, creative control these days. You know, a lot has changed yes. at all these labels. A lot of our yes. friends gone on so many we've lost yes. um in this industry eric as you know through the years it's, it's not the same so just as we were talking about you know you have to pivot man so i am you have so to. Happy to hear about that jbr creative group um in full effect uh which is great um and still eric benet is doing his thing um this ain't gonna stop thing. that's right we can't <laughs> stop you can't stop won't stop okay, uh, okay. Man, this single, uh, how tasteful, uh, I should say. Um, you know, definitely beautiful music as always. Um, itself, you. you teamed up with Tamar, um, and definitely all the people out there watching, something you definitely can make love to, okay? Uh, yes. and I hope they do, and I hope they do. <laughs> So talk to us about this visual. You know, I, I was looking at, of course, the whole treatment because, you know, that's my thing, Eric. So, of yes. course, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the technical aspect. 
you know, but I'm at the same time, I'm looking at everything in my face at the same time. <laughs> yes, sir. It, it was in your face. And uh, we, we were a little we were a little concerned for a hot minute while we were shooting that. It's like, man, is, is YouTube going to flag us? Are we going to be able to get our spins off this video? But no, the whole thing <laughs> with working with Tamar came about. Um, so I had written all these songs for this project. It's a it's a duets project. Um, every song on, on the project is a duet with me and a female artist. Um, um, got some incredible artists on this project from Shante Moore to, uh, uh, to Corinne Bailey Ray to oh. Lettucey, Lettucey got a joint, um, from, uh, with, uh, Latasha, uh, Scott from Escape. Nice. Um, so I got all these joints and so Allison was like, you know who we need to go holler at? Tricky. Tricky Stewart. And Trick Tricky Stewart, for those who don't know, is a mega producer right now. Yes. Tricky is like, he's an iconic, he's like like Tyler, Money Long, Beyonce, uh, yes. shoot, Mariah Carey. I mean, Tricky, Tricky is that dude, right? And Tricky came up with us back in the 90s. Yes. Tricky's funny. Tricky, yes. Tricky's funny. He says. He says, yeah, man, back in the 90s when I was starting, I wasn't good enough to get on no Eric Benet record, but look at me now. So, <laughs> so no. So Allison was like, yo, let's go down to Atlanta. Let's see if Tricky got something for us. And Tricky laced us with a joint that uh, is the song that I'm doing with Latasha Scott, which is a great, great song called Work It Out. But his brother, Laney Stewart, was like, well, wait, hold up. I might have something for Eric, too. And Lane, Laney Stewart is another just humongous producer who's done so many made so many hits over the years. And Laney let me hear the track to what is something we can make love to. And I was like, wow, this joint right here, as soon as you push play, I just, I feel it. I feel it. There was no uh, female vocalist attached to it at that point. And it was Tricky's idea. He was like, I know who you need to do this song with. And he, he called... Tamar Braxton and in the morning because she lives in Atlanta too or she was in Atlanta too or she lives there too right. he said right. by, the, by the afternoon she was at his studio like this thing is so hot I want to put my vocal on this now okay. and and Tamar and I have an incredible friendship going back to when we were on the road with Snoop Dogg you know Snoop Snoop did a really dope play uh, sure. a musical sure. uh, uh, based on uh, based on his life and Tamar and I were in that in that traveling play, and we became friends there. And so now we have an opportunity to uh, to make music together. So it's incredible. Something we can make love to. Such a beautiful single that's out. Uh, so many things to talk about with Eric, but we know you got to run, my brother, man. It's so glad to see you. We go back so many years, man. Uh, whether right. it's the red carpets we see each other at in L.A., or we run it on the road somewhere, you know? So yeah. we know how that goes. And how is the family? How is India and the daughters and the, and Manuela, who I met before you married her, right? Both you guys together, we met, in fact, on the red carpet, you was with them. Yeah, how's That's the family? What's up. Yeah, no, nah, man, fam is do, doing incredible. India is doing incredibly well. She lives here in Los Angeles and she's making music um, for, for podcasts and other productions. Um, Manuela, is thriving you know manuela has her nonprofit in a perfect world.org please go check it out because she's doing so many great things for the world she's building schools she's uplifting um kids in uh, public schools here domestically building schools all over the world um our daughters lucia and luna are growing up way too fast luna yeah. just turned 10 years old and uh, Lucia is just like this brilliant little ball of creative energy. And every day I wake up, I feel so blessed. And, you know, it's that combination of 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 almost it's not sadness, but it's it's just like, wow, this is all just like every day goes by so quickly now. It's like you were just you, Luna, you were just five years old and now it's 10 years old. It's. You know, but that's a blessing. You know, we have these benchmarks of love in our life that I am I am I'm grateful 
um, I'm grateful for, and I am just an incredibly blessed individual. And I look at my life and I've just an abundance of experiences and growth and learning and, 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 and blessings from God. And I'm just, I'm so grateful. Amen. Multi-award winner, singer, songwriter, and actor. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Eric Benet right here on Positive Progression. Continued success, my brother. Tell them those last words. Definitely, we want them to get that album. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we coming out with the EP first. And okay. then uh, I wrote so many songs for this uh, duets project that we were like, yo, we might have to do an EP first. Sure. And then come out with a whole album like near the end of the year. So that's going to be the plan. My man. Well, Eric, continued success. Thank you so much, man, for your time. Good to see you again. You know you can reach out anytime.